Yeah, well, this all started when uh, I got, read a memoir by a local man, uh, Ed Belvin, who grew up here in Williamsburg in the 1920s and 1930s. I, when we moved to Williamsburg, I got very interested in uh, the history of Williamsburg, not so much the 18th century history, but the 19th century history, because I was a scholar of 19th century British poetry. So I've kept my eye out over the years for things that have to do with 19th and early 20th century history in Williamsburg. So I read Ed Belvin's memoir, and he mentioned uh, that there was a 18th century cottage that had been moved down the street from the side of Brown Hall to this site where we are today uh, in 1930. And I found that sort of intriguing because I'd never heard of any other 18th century buildings on campus except the Brafferton, the President's House, and the Wren Building. Uh, I decided to go over to the Rockefeller Library, the Colonial Williamsburg Library, and I discovered there that they actually had a file on this house that had a number of newspaper clippings from the uh, 1930s. Uh, it was well known in town in the 1930s and 40s that this was an 18th century uh, structure, and pretty much forgotten uh, after that, I guess. But anyway, I saw some photographs in that uh, file uh, that showed this structure. Uh, so I came back and looked at it again, and that's when I realized that if you uh, took the additions off at each end and uh, took the uh, roof line and moved it back to the way a cottage roof would be, you could see uh, what an 18th century cottage uh, looked like and I was here. Uh, I began to uh, realize that there was a possibility that it might have been uh, connected to a, a school for uh, the religious education of free and enslaved uh, black children uh, and that got me sort of interested uh, too, especially when I discovered in the uh, uh, list of uh, children who were being educated here uh, the names of Fanny and Adam who were actually owned by the college uh, and then when I realized in a kind of electric moment, uh, you know, that I worked for an institution that actually enslaved people and enslaved children, uh, that made it my interest even stronger.